When you choose a password on your 48, the password is actually being encrypted on your 48 storage. It is shown on the command line as a base64 encoding. Let's just look at our administrator password. It is shown as a base64 encoding, but it is actually being encrypted. Now, the good thing is that you can actually choose the secret key. 48 will use its own algorithm, probably AES, but the secret key relies on you. Let's look at how we configure our own private key. We use passwords not only for users and administrators, we also use password when we need to back up our configuration in an encrypted way. And the private key that we will generate soon using a pseudo random generator uh, with OpenSSL will be used for all the passwords that are being encrypted. So the very first thing to do is to open up terminal. That's the tool that I'm using, but you can use just about any tool that you um, feel comfortable with and use the rent function. Now we will use uh, the the documentary says that you will need to use 32 hexadecimal uh, digits. Now, each hexadecimal digit is 4-bit. So, we actually need a 128-bit key. So, here we will generate 16 since it is in bytes. The RAND function here works in bytes. And there we have it. That's our secret key. So, just copy that and now let's move back to our 48 and to create our own private key and for our 48 to use it we will use the config system global set private data encryption and make that enabled now once you do so you will end uh, the session and paste your key. Press again and re-enter your key and there it is. Your private data is encrypted by the key that you have generated. Now don't forget to hide the key, keep it in a secret place. This is your private key. You will need it when you will uh, encrypt backup configuration and so on. All right, so the last thing to note is that creating your own private key is not something that is a must, but it is a part of hardening your 48, of making it much more secure. 